Hey, welcome back, kids. Let's get right to the rules. What's rule number one? Be quiet. That's right. Show me your number one finger. Put it near your lips. Grab a bubble. <gasps> oh, good job, guys. All right. Rule number two is stay seated. Right? Everybody sit down on your bottoms. All right. Rule number three is be a good listener. That's right. If you're doing, being a good listener, you're not talking, right? So let's try rule number one together. Rule number one is be quiet. That's right. Number one. <gasps> Excellent. All right. Does anybody know what time it is? It's Bible verse time. But as for me, it is good to be near God. Psalm 73, 28. All right, let's do it again. But as for me, it is good to be near God. Psalm 73, 28. Hey, thanks, Hannah. I like this Bible verse a lot. Let's do it together. But as for me, it is good to be near God. That's right. That's Psalm 73, 28. Okay. Um, let's do it again. I felt like some people didn't do it. Okay. But as for me, it is good to be near God. That's right. All right, guys. You ready to do some voices? All right. Three, two, one. Ninja. I like Ninja. All right. You guys watching close? Everybody watch close. Here we go. Three, two, oh, three, two, one. Hey, what was that? Yeah, ninja. All right, let's do it together. Mm. But as for me, it is good to be near God. Psalm 73, 28. That was good ninjas, guys. That was good ninjas. Let's do another voice. Ready? Three, two, one. Princess. All right, you guys ready to do princess voice with me? Okay. Here we go. But as for me, it is good to be near God. Psalm 73, 28. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I was, I was told I did it wrong. It's short, short, long. Short, short, long. Okay, just together. That's a better princess way. I was, someone was coaching me later, earlier. Anyway, okay, let's turn to the voice. Three, two, one. Sloth. Okay, is a sloth really, really fast or really, really slow? Right, it's really, really slow. So let's do it really, really slow. Here we go. But as for me, it is good to be near God. Psalm 73, 28. <laughs> that was good, guys. That was so good. All right. So today is what? Remember and celebrate, right? Yeah? Remember and celebrate? Because we get to what? Remember and then celebrate. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to tell you guys this story. Hamilton, he always brings something. Let's see what he brought for Remember and Celebrate. What do you think it would be? What does he usually, oh, I know what he usually brings. He usually brings a party hat, right? It's kind of folded down here. We'll fold it out. Which goes on your head, right? When you're having a party, when you're celebrating together. 
I like it. All right. So all the stories that we talked about this spring come from here. And this is the Bible. And the Bible is God's word. That's right. And God's word is true. Yes, guys. All right. You guys remember way, 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 way back. We talked about when Jesus and his disciples got together, right? And they ate bread and they drank wine, right? Do you guys remember what that was called? It was called the last, yeah, the last supper, right? And Jesus took the bread and he broke it and he gave everybody some. And he said, take this, this is my body, right? And then he took the wine and he poured it, right? And, and he gave everybody some wine. He said, take the wine, that's my blood. When you do this, remember me, right? And whenever we do that, when we have meals with our friends or we have communion together, we're supposed to remember that Jesus died for us, right? So the next part of it was when Jesus got on the donkey. Remember he had a donkey? And he rode into Jerusalem, right? And the people were waving their what? You guys know it? Palm branches. That's right, palm branches. And does anybody remember? Oh, extra points for anybody who remembers what they were saying. What they were saying. What they were saying. What? Yeah, some of you got it. It was Hosanna. Say it with me. Hosanna. Yeah, say it with me again. Hosanna. And that's that means that they knew Jesus was there to come and save them. Okay? It's not the way they thought it was going to happen, but they thought he was going to come and overtake the king and all that stuff. But he came. Like the Jesus comes, right? He came softly and quietly, and he came on a donkey. But to remember the next couple weeks, we talked about something else that happens, and we all... We all come to church and we got dressed up and a bunch of people came to church together, right? And we celebrated Easter. But do you guys remember what Easter was about? When when the the guy the bad guys, the mean guys, they were calling Jesus names, right? And they were hurting him and giving him boo-boos. And they put him up on the cross and they gave him boo-boos here and here and on his feet and on his side. Remember? It made everybody so sad. It made me sad. Does it make you sad? It makes me sad. But the cool thing is, three days later, right, on Easter Sunday, when, when we remember Easter, right, he rose up from the dead, and he walked around with his friends, right? And, and, and they're like, what happened? He's like, I came to save you. This is how I'm going to save you. I died on the cross, and I rose again. Oh, so then he was going around, and everybody was like, can you believe Jesus, 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 he died, and then now he's now he's alive? Oh, that's such good news. And they were telling everybody the good news that Jesus rose again, right? And he came to save us. And wow. And so he told them to go out and tell the good news to everybody in the world, right? He said, go and baptize people in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, right? And and so, the, so they did that. And one of the guys who used to go out was Peter, his friend Peter, right? And Peter was going out and telling everybody. Peter was traveling all over the place, right? With a bunch of other friends of theirs. And they were telling everybody about Jesus. And that God loved us so much that he sent his son down to earth to save us. Right? Yeah? That's so cool, right? And, but Peter, Peter got put in jail, remember? And then one night there was an angel that came and they broke him out of jail. Remember, you guys just did that a little bit ago. You broke out of jail. Remember you guys were in there, in there and you broke out of jail and you took your chains home. You talked to your mom and dads about that. And then we also talked about some of the first churches. One of the churches was in the city called Antioch. Let's say it together, Antioch, right? And the people helped each other and they took care of each other and they did what Jesus would do. And when somebody needed a blanket, they gave him a blanket. When somebody needed food, they gave him food. If somebody had some place, some place to stay, they took him into their house and they took care of them. And they, they used to sing and, and worship together and pray together. And that's what made them the church. It wasn't the building at all, right? It was they were inside other people's houses. That was Antioch, the first church. You know what, guys? I love these stories. But wait. This is when we remember, remembered all them, right? And we what? Celebrate. So I want you guys to celebrate today. If you haven't already done some of the celebration, do some more of your celebration. Don't forget to do that. And then pretty soon, we're going to start another story about somebody that you guys might know is in the Bible and he fought a giant. Just wait. It's going to be so good. I can't wait for you guys to see that. Okay. So 
we should probably just go ahead and pray. Ready? Hands in the air, hands on your head, hands on your knees. Still not your knees, there's your, there's your shoulder. I started to say those were your elbows. Those aren't your elbows, those are your shoulders. There's your elbows. All right, wiggle your fingers, put them together, blink your eyes closed, repeat after me. Hi God, it's us and Vineyard Kids. Thank you for our teachers and helpers. Thank you for our family and friends. We love you, God. Amen. All right. See you guys next week.